and gentlemen, my name is Deep Vike and welcome to my throw bar of gameplay. Right, so last time we have made an uh, a weapon upgrade. I think uh, last axes were called just throwing axes. And now we have a bronze balanced axe and a balanced axe. I'm surprised I found a, a blue balanced axe. Although it just gives one uh, 11 to attack rating. Still blue. Hmm. Right, so I think we prepped up last time. All we need to do is search the halls of dead under the dry hills for the cube. So let's have at it. Dry hills, right? So it was, yeah, under the dry hills. Let's go. Okay, so we're one-shotting stuff. That's good. Almost one-shotting. Well, so we're one-shotting the vultures for now. Right. Okay, so let's uh, search for that, uh, those halls of the dead. Okay. Oh. We got uh, an elite right here. I think we're gonna fare just fine. Right, so the weapon upgrade is uh, pretty good. Let's see what this Grand Charm gives us. 1-2 maximum damage, which translates to 3 maximum throw damage. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it, but 3 slots, man. Ugh. What was that? A chip to ruby. So we're not gonna waste our time with these guys. We're just gonna let uh, mercenaries kill them. Only when they gather up in groups like this will we do something about it. But what's with the lag? What is that? Hmm. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, I, I love the music. I don't remember this being in Diablo 2, the original, was it? Trangling gas. That's still... Shit. Okay. Oh, I don't have a key anymore. Well, who knows what unique could have been in there. Okay, so no halls of the dead so far. I'm pretty sure it's on the uh, upper level. Can't carry anymore. 
Nah, I'm not gonna take the wolf head. Well, actually, I'm, I'm gonna take it. And if I find something better, I'll just throw it. Oh, and here are the halls. And there we go. Right, so the music changed, the atmosphere changed. I like it. I was hoping th the music wasn't going to be all that cheerful in here. It wouldn't be fitting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we got a jewel. Right. I think that's crap. Another grand charm. Yeah, sure, let's go back. Why not? Replenish our axes, identify stuff. Okay, 25% extra gold, poison resist, I'm just gonna keep the jewel, why not? No harm in stashing that. And that's about it. Ghostly Decayed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Halls of the Dead level 2. Yeah, we're just gonna skip straight through that. Broad axe. Now I'm not gonna bother with it. It's too big. It's useless. Keep moving. Now we got the hollow ones. Let's buff up the dude. Kill the other hollow one. Wow. The difference though. Well, like I said, the... The legacy version is... With more light. It's more lighted... Than the resurrected version. New stats. So I think I'm gonna put five more points in decks. And we also got a new skill. And oh, we got a battle cry, so we're level 18 right now. We also got Iron skin and leap attack. I'm gonna go with the battle cry. And. Hmm. Do with. Uh, yeah, we're gonna set it on C. Kind of small range, but. I think it's meant for a melee barbarian, a melee barbarian.
A falcon. Come on, dude. Emilio, what are you doing? Oh, you wanted to kill this guy. No problem. Okay. Yeah, so things are a bit easier with the new axes. All of the dead level 3, and I think this is where we find the cube, right? This is where we find the cube. Ooh. A set amulet. 10% faster hit recovery. Attacker takes lightning damage of 2. 1 to maximum damage. Well. I don't know. Seems like crap. To be honest. Okay, so this is a dead end. Oh, I think I'm gonna stash the rejuvenation potions. I don't know why I didn't do that before, but... Balanced knife. Let's see what. Um, how much damage does this have? 6 to 18. Yeah. Crap. Right, so the cube should be in this direction, obviously. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a rare two-handed sword. Emilio, please come back. Come back, dude. Let's see what's uh, the deal with this two-handed sword. Yeah, not bad, I guess. Still useless for me. Two to strength. One maximum damage, five seven. So let's check that strength versus the damage. Yeah. Not good. This must be the room, yeah, there it is, the chest, and there should be an elite mob or something. Yeah, there he is, extra strong and cursed. Yeah, well, not that strong. We also get a rare falcon. Right, so uh, I think I'm gonna go to town, stash the potions sell the junk, then come back and take the shit.
Right. Okay, so we made some extra room. We should also repair and replenish our axes. <coughs> Looks like I'm sliding off my chair there. Okay, so hatchet hands, falcon... Uh, and that's about it. And the Zehoradric cube. And we, also, we already don't have enough room. I'm not gonna do that. Ring mail. Okay, pick up the gold and back we go. And I think I'm gonna do this. Um, hmm. there we go. Ah, that's good enough. That's a bit tidier. Right, so the Horadric cube. Now we can cube stuff. You have we have quite a treasure. Stay a while and listen. Yeah, so you have items in the cube. He's not gonna identify them. For two mana. Enhanced defense. Yeah, thank you very much. Crap. It's not bad, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna save all this crap. Starting to feel like a hoarder, but... You know, you never know when you use... When you need these items. Okay, what's next? I, I think I should be getting a quest from Drognan. No? No quests so far? Okay. Right then, so on we go to the Dry Hills. And then after Dry Hills, I think it's Far Oasis. Also, there was a checkpoint in Halls of the Dead. Yeah, I'm not gonna... No point in... Getting that now. What's our hit chance? 95%. What's the chance to be hit? 51%. It's pretty high though. It's kind of high. As far as I know. Oh, this must be the exit to the rocky waste. Okay. Wrong button. Okay, so far this build, I'm pretty satisfied with the build. Pretty strong, given the fact that we have, like, white weapons. And we hadn't had any decent gear drop since Act 1.
So it's a decent build so far. Oh, uh, I'm such a noob. I forgot. So the Rocky Waste is the first. The first zone here. So back to the dry hills. And... What are we supposed to be looking for? Far Oasis? Also, where could the exit be? Oh, here it is. Also, no stamina potion. Well, that was embarrassing. Moving on. Hey, the itches. heavy gloves and a wrist blade which is useless right so I gotta get used to the books being on the left hand side of the inventory 12 attack rating enhanced defense frost nova yeah enhanced defense half freeze duration I guess let's get an eagle orb because sometimes they sell for a uh, pretty penny Ah, that's not great. There is the waypoint for the Faroesis. Let's uh, replenish our stuff. Do we have anything to identify? Yes, we do. Crap. Not bad. Faster cast rate. I think we already have two rings with faster cast rate. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna sell that. Five to life. Pretty useless. I'm also gonna cube all the gems at some point. Probably gonna do it off screen. No point in boring you guys with that. Choking gas potion. 72 damage. That's not bad. I, I think I might try that. Okay. So, in the far oasis, what uh, do we have to do? Oh, we're, we are already at the maggot lair. Okay. Okay, so the maggot layer it is. Not one of my favorites, uh, favorite uh, zones, places in Act 2. For obvious reasons. And for those of you who don't know, oh, you're about to find out why. Good thing I'm playing alone. Uh, 
Right, let's stop wasting our time with these flies and just find the maggot lair. Uh, that should be the lost city, I think. Oh, so... <laughs> I was using double throw and apparently it throws... The choking potion as well. So... Hmm, shouldn't do that. Just gonna put throw and Z on here. Yeah, there we go. I was wondering what's with all the poison gas. That was a waste. Okay, come on, Maggot Lair, where are you? Oh, could be on the lower level. What, what am I doing? I'm going right into the fray. Like a perfect place to use a choking potion. Oh, that wasn't... Actually, it was a good throw. Not bad. Well, looks like the maggot lair is... Okay. I was about to say uh, the maggot lair is hard to find, but... Never mind. This is like the fifth time this has happened to me. <laughs> like complaining of how hard it is to find an entrance and then the entrance is just right there. It just appears out of nowhere. I also hate this place because of the poison. Man, I hate being poisoned. The anxiety of being poisoned for me is just unbearable. And here we go. So this is the maggot layer for those of you who don't know. And yeah, it's a labyrinth. Of sorts. Grand Scepter, eh? Healing potion, minor healing, and rejuvenation. No room for rejuvenation. We shall make room. There we go. 
So this is a dead end. Ooh. Yeah, not bad. Impossible. Is it now? Yeah, looks like it is impossible. Moving on. And there we go with that poison. So I think it's time to go back to town, heal ourselves, re replenish our axes, sell the junk. What? What's this? Bolts? Really? Man, I thought I was a hoarder, but that's a bit too much. Half freeze duration for the attack rating. Yeah, so half freeze duration is not that bad. 40 attack rating is good, but not for me. So this gives me what? Exactly. 2 strength and 15 attack rating. Cold resist, fire resist. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it for the... Keep this ring for the resists and this for the half duration. Half freeze duration, that is. Alright. Keeping the key, stashing the rejuvenation potions. Um. What? Oh, so that was a lag spike. Right, we also got stuff in the cube. I used to, like, almost always forget I have stuff in a cube and just leave them there for whole acts. Like, I would find Act 2 items when I was in Act 5. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> okay. Time to get back into the maggot lair. Okay, let's take this side and we're gonna keep on going. Come on, come on, click the door. Okay, another dead end. No problem. So this is barely level 1 and I'm already fed up with it. I don't know why, I just don't like Maggot Lair. Oh and we leveled up already. Volge. Let's see if we have an upgrade for Emilio. Right, so Emilio, let's see. 7 to 30 damage. So right now we have uh, 45 to 65. Uh, no, that's way better. Right, so I th I'm thinking... Five more, more points in Vitality and new skills. I didn't use this skill. I should use it. Increased Stamina, Iron Skin, Natural Resistances. Yeah, I feel like Iron Skin is a good choice. Okay. 
Okay, let's keep going. And here we are, level two. That's good. I'm I'm not even gonna bother with the with the rest of level one. And I think it's pretty obvious as to why. Now the thing I'm surprised about is that Emilio didn't lag behind. Uh, the uh, the mercenaries would would usually like you know because of the poor pathing they would be left behind. Like for instance, if I would go right here, like really fast, he would just yeah there there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But it seems like the pathing is way better. They, I think they even improved it. I think they did. Yeah, they, they definitely did. Come on. Blast it, don't beetles. Extra strong, really? Who are you kidding? So we're level 19. Already. Not bad, not bad. And here is level 3. And I think this is the last level before we get the, um, what was it, the staff? Come on, Emilio, do some stuff. Oof. The damage, though. The lag, though. Whoa, whoa. Ah, my gut tells me the staff is in this direction. Touching that camera pod. Oh, there it is. We're just gonna kill him from afar. Can we hit him though? Oh. Yeah, that was easy. Okay. Um, we got a helm. Light mana, light healing. No, light healing. Yes. <clears throat> can't carry anymore. Staff of Kings. Anything else of value here? A double axe. Um, no, not really. Well, that was pretty fast. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. The Staff of Kings. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Right, so we gotta get rid of something in our inventory. Yeah, I'm not, I don't use, I don't actually use mana potions, so I should stop hoarding, like really. <clears throat> so this, can't, 
you can't share the unique item, unique quest item, okay. I could see some abuse if that was uh, that were the case. So we got what? We got six defense, faster hit recovery. Do we need a hit recovery though? Let's see how much defense this helm gives us. I mean, what chance of hit? The dudes will have so with 140 defense they have one they have 45 percent and with 162 they have 42 percent i'm i don't know if it's worth it but i'm just gonna change it i do like the resistances cold resist Does cold resist? Do I need cold resist versus durial? I don't know. Just gonna sell it. I'm th I'm sick of it anyway. Let's also stash the gold and stash the amethyst. Okay. Now, going back to... No, not the Maggot Lair. Going back to... Uh, what was it called? Far Oasis. Yeah, and then there's the Lost City. And once we enter the Lost City, which was right here, Drognan will give us a quest. Because some evil magic will be at play. Evil magics indeed. <clears throat> Entering the lost city. Is that a rune? Okay, a tier rune. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna take it. And there we go, the evil magics at play. Ask Drognan about the strange darkness. I definitely will. And I think I'm going to do the sewers here too, because why not? Oh, this is uh, an elite. Throwing axe. Oh, this is a throwing axe from act one. Okay. Oh, 8 to 21. 9 maximum damage. Increased stack size. I don't actually know. I usually like going for higher minimum damage because because of the constant. Oh, I did it again. I like more constant, consistent actually, more consistent damage. So it's 2475 versus 3579. So it's 11 less damage on the lower half. And what? 16 on the other side. Ah, well, let's use it. Why not? See how it goes. Oh, but wait. It's also normal attack speed. So let's check it out. Doesn't look like normal. Yeah, it's a bit slower. Not that slow. 
Not a big difference. surrounded now are we Okay, so there should be some sewers here, and I don't think they're called sewers, I think they're called the tunnel or something like that. Bowing potion. Come on, die already. He didn't run away, Emilio. <clears throat> oh, and here are the tunnels. Should we do them now or should we leave them for next time? Yeah, actually, let's finish the lost city, find the waypoint, and we're gonna leave the tunnel and the Claw Viper Temple for the next episode. Champion Marauders. So we got a Scythe or a Scythe. Yeah, well, this shrine would have been useful in the Maggot Lair. Okay, where is that waypoint? Is it on the upper level? Could be. Is it over here? Let's go on the upper level and uh, look for it there. <clears throat> well, I'm starting to think that the throwing axe is actually a bit better. Because usually they take two hits. But if the higher value procs, like 75, I think it's just one hit. Still have to check though. Oh, and here's the waypoint. And I found it. I just, I accidentally clicked on it actually. That's funny. So let's get back to town, identify all the stuff, get the quest from Drognan, and end this episode for now. Well, actually, we're going to end this episode, and we're going to do the rest in the next episode. Let's just take the quest from Drognan. Oh, so it's an eclipse. Right, so this dude is uh, telling us to go to the Claw Viper Temple and 
destroy the serpent altar. So we basically have two quests at the Claw Viper Temple. That's pretty odd if you ask me. Right, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. I gotta say, uh, the throw barb is still pretty fun. And after the um, weapon upgrade, it's kicking ass. I'm actually, uh, actually proud of it. I don't have an issue so much anymore with um, the lack of AoE. I just, uh, as you can see, I could just tend to ignore the mobs. I don't have to kill all of them. Right, so maybe next time, like how we got this blue throwing axe with 9 to maximum damage, it would be sweet as hell to get a balanced axe like that. Or maybe the next type of throwing axe, which I don't know the name of, but still, it would be sweet. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'll see you guys next time.